welcome back to my channel. My name is Krisha. So today is another video on a five best products under five minutes and it's going to be bronzers. Before we get into it, a quick reminder to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I invite you to join me on Instagram as well at Zagami Beauty. Okay guys, let's get to this. First one is going to be an honorable mention because I personally use this as more of a contour product. It is the Marc Jacobs Coconut Bronzer in the newest color which came out last year and that's in Tantalize. This is the darkest of the three which would work as a beautiful bronzer for more tan to slightly deeper tones. On me though, it is a little bit more of a contour product. So it gives me just that perfect shading that I do first before my other bronzers go on with a nice fluffy brush that's a little bit firmer. It just kind of really goes in there and gives me a little bit of a contour look. Love it, love it, love it. Next one is a cream bronzer. I use it as a little bit of a bronzer topper or if I'm lazy and I'm on vacation, I just use this as my bronzer all over. Eyeshadow, just everything, slight highlighter in one. This is the Guerlain Terracotta Stick. And this came out, I believe it was last spring. And this color in particular is the bronze color. And I love this. It's beautiful, it has a slight sheen to it. Again, you can use it as a highlighter for tan to deeper skin tones. I use it as a bronzer topper or a bronzer in itself. Has that typical terracotta smell, absolutely stunning. Next one is going to be a drugstore brand, Milani, which makes beautiful baked blushes and just as beautiful baked bronzers. Not as many in the bronzer line, I think they have three shades or so um, here in Canada anyways. This one in particular is just called number four, Glow has slight shimmery veining in it, slightly more on the golden side, but the way this goes on the skin, it just melts into the skin. It's a baked product, so again, it's gonna give you slightly that sheeny effect, especially if you put on a little bit of a setting spray or moisturizing spray over top, and it just kinda looks so glowy, so sheeny, and undetectable essentially and a really good price too because it is drugstore next one is a recent purchase it's from Guerlain and it's their newest bronzer in the terracotta line it's their matte bronzer and I just picked it up in a second shade the light was a little bit too light for me but the medium is just perfect so again typical terracotta packaging the shade is just beautiful terracotta smell it goes on so beautifully, you can build it up. It doesn't give you instant pigment right away. As you're wearing it during the day, your natural oils just kind of meld with it and it gives off a little bit of a sheen throughout the day. Goes on matte though, so I don't think it's a problem for oilier skins either. There's no sheen, there's no sparkle initially, but again, as you're wearing it, your natural oils in your skin just melt in with it really, really nicely throughout the day. Beautiful bronzer. Okay, last two, which are just my favorite bronzers. Ever. I cannot go without these products. If I want a no-brainer bronze look, I'm going to work, I don't have much time, these are the two products that I stick with. So first one is a cream bronze, which is the original Chanel Soleil Tan de Chanel. I'm almost done this particular tub, but I did purchase a backup before they changed the formula. So I'm really happy I have that. These last forever. I really feel there's like at least, yeah, 30 grams. So decent pricing for Chanel. I'm shocked that it's, I think it's in the 50 some dollar range Canadian, which is really not bad for Chanel. It's so beautiful. You just swirl sort of a synthetic brush into it, put it all over the face. It kind of just gives you this really natural glowy effect to the skin. And I love layering, again, a powder on top because this just sort of gives you a really nice natural effect to the skin, which still looks like skin. And then I put my favorite bronzer on top, which is the Marc Jacobs Original Omega Bronzer in Tantric. This one here in the black packaging, so sleek and massive flat pan, so really easy to get a fluffy brush into here. I can't be without this product. It's so beautiful. It has the most beautiful tone to it. Not overly neutral like the other coconut bronzer in Tantastic. That one's almost a little bit too neutral for me anyways. This one is slightly warm, but not overly warm. The texture is so beautiful. It's creamy, but yet powdery. Not too sheer, not too pigmented, lays well over a cream bronzer such as the Chanel Soleil Tan de Chanel. 
it's just something else and I use this at the end so after my blush is on this is my last step and it just kind of fills in all the spots that don't have any highlighter or blush or cream bronzer fills in those gaps makes it look seamless I just I don't know I can't say enough good things about this bronzer it is just top top notch okay you guys that's everything I have no idea if I made the five minute mark but the power of editing will let me get there so have a wonderful day if there's any questions about these bronzers leave them down below also I would love to hear you from you guys as well what are your favorite bronzers what are bronzers that you can't live without um, I'd love to have that conversation as well all the best to you guys don't forget to subscribe before you go thank you for joining me today and I'll talk to you guys very very soon